Hello guys and welcome to episode 19 of my Vistula campaign in Stur Division 2 playing on the Soviet side. Today we are going to be finishing the campaign. We set ourselves up to be able to push right on into Warsaw with the 29th Tank Corps. Previously we won a battle with the 103rd Tank Brigade, the 160th Rifle Division and the 414th Artillery Regiment. It practically destroyed the 103rd Tank Brigade. There's only 40 T-34s left there. I think we lost over 18 T-34s in that attack, and it was very close. We managed to use up pretty much all of our infantry, but it broke down their fortifications, and now they've been forced back. So there's no fortifications for us to fight into. It's going to be a breakthrough battle regardless, so that's great. Now what I was thinking for that attack is we could probably bring in the Air Force. Uh, if we want to attack the unit that's closest to the flag. We won't be able to bring in three units in phase A by the looks of things. No. Either of these we wouldn't be able to. So we may as well make use of our IL-2s. And that's going to be really, really fun. You can play around with those IL-2s. However, there is one more thing that I wanted to do before we jumped into that battle, and that is sort out this right-hand side. I've pushed up these units and I've created these large salients. Now it's just a matter of taking these places all for ourselves. And an interesting thing happened here where units spawned in on the road and took all of this territory. Because there's no way that they would have been able to get past the 21st Recon Squadron without being intercepted. So we're going to surround those as well, hopefully. I'm just going to have to find a way to get back to the recon squadron here. Hopefully one of these is in range. That one's not. Oh, that one is. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so we can come up the road here and zoom on round. And connect that. Great. So now what we can do is we can move across the river here. And then have this unit come up and join them. And there we go. <laughs> oh, it's just ridiculous, guys. <laughs> Encirclement simulator <laughs> in full swing. Damn, we are just crushing this entire army and pushing into Warsaw. It's just... This has been such a great campaign. I've really, really enjoyed it. Like, the massive strategic scale of this campaign has been awesome. And uh, a lot of the tactical battles as well we've had have been great. Alright, let's move up to this town. Lovely. Uh, can we push to, like, the edge of the map there? Let's have a look. I wonder if that does anything. Oh, okay. Does that take all of that land on the right? I guess it does. Hmm, awesome. Yeah, seems like it does. <laughs> there we go. It's all ours. Doesn't that just look very, very nice indeed? Completed it, guys. Completed it. Alright. So, those guys are now completely surrounded as we just zoom on past them. We can just leave all of these units behind. We don't even have to attack them. Like, all of these units could just move up like this. Just move away from these guys. <laughs> because there's no need to stop them from breaking through up here anymore. <laughs> Since there's nowhere for them to go. Yeah. Well, we're not going to make all those movements, of course. We're going to get on with this attack into Warsaw. But I just wanted to make sure that I did that first. To make sure... Or to, to have a look and see if we could actually do that. And it looks like we can. And that looks very, very nice indeed. Okay. Warsaw time. So let's select the 3rd Battalion in the 1st AB Panzergrenz. I will probably bomb one of these. We probably bomb one. What would be the worst one for them to bring in? Actually, let's see what they can bring in first. They could bring in the Panzergram Regiment. We can bring in these guys. The what's that? The first battalion of the first Panzergram Regiment of the Hellman Girding. Well, a lot of vehicles in it. And then there's some tanks. They actually can't bring in these guys. Which is unfortunate, because I was hoping we'd have a big old tank battle to finish, since we do have IS-2s charging into this fight. Alright. 
This is also very weak, so if they decide to use those, then it's not going to last too long. Let's just bomb the recon, because that's just like the most anti-fun. We want a big battle here. I don't want them to like use the recon to reinforce. And then what we're going to do is attack these guys with the 29th Tank Corps, the 60th Guards Tank Brigade, and the 70th Guards Air Assault Regiment. The air has arrived, finally, and uh, we can use that to push in. Hopefully we have enough infantry to make this work, because 29th Tank Corps is pretty much the only infantry we have. I guess we do have the Tango Desaniki, but we're going to probably play off Recon quite a bit. So I don't get AA spammed like I did previously. <laughs> and that's a tactical battle. And uh, we'll jump on in. So the weakened unit with the Panzer Fours is being used. Now of course this is on hard difficulty so they will get the extra 50%. Let's see what we want to do. Oh we have these IL-2s. Uh, actually, I was just thinking, maybe we won't get a chance to use these because they will have a lot of AA, probably. I think that Panzergren unit had loads of AA. Oh, we also have these as well, the Captured Panthers. They still haven't been given a thumbnail. So, where do we want to start? I'm looking for a recon right now. <laughs> There's some Razvedka. We can use those. We'll have one of those units come over here and unload. And we'll have one maybe... Maybe we can go into like here and then have one here maybe. I don't know if it'll make it to that position though. Probably have some recon here as well. Yeah we do. Great. These ones come in carriers. Cool. Um, this one can... Hmm. Let me just unload here. I'm a little bit war wary of like pushing them too far forwards at the start and just having the unit killed, so... We're gonna take it easy. Just deploy them on the edge. Bring up the carrier for that one as well. Then what we can do is uh, bring in some Sapari. Probably gonna bring in like a couple on this side. Maybe push down. What else do we have? Do we have anything that can like decently engage from range? I don't think so. I mean, the Superdi would be okay. Oh, we do have some Gavardia. Do you have some Gavardia? All right. If anything, we definitely want to bring out our ISs. Where are they? Twenty ninth Thank Corps. There we go. We'll bring the ISs onto the field and let's see what these Panthers are like as well. So the 1943 can sit up there. That's fine. Uh, we'll probably have another one here somewhere. We can push up. Have a couple here. Going to be a little bit careful with them because obviously we don't want to lose these unnecessarily. But they will do plenty of damage and Pop plenty of stuff for us. Should really put down the 1944 ones first because they have that extra armor that's really useful. And in theory, all our recon will be ahead of us. So maybe we just do it like so at the start and maybe bring in like a bunch of mortars or something. Uh, let's let's see that. We'll bring in like a, a, few, a few mortars. We'll have maybe some here. And we'll have some also here with leaders to make them three stars. And then supply. Perfect. Alright, and every tick we can bring in a plane, a tank, Whatever.
Okay, so there's some AA, a Gepard. I kind of want to stay away from that. Okay. Uh, what's all that up there? Is that more AA? Serious? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the enemy's coming at me with AA again. That's gonna, that's gonna be one of those games. Or oh, unload, guys. There's two Panzer Fours here. Alright. We killed a Gepard. We took a transmission damage. Uh, that's not good. I can't see what's shooting at me. It's probably a Panzer IV, I guess, or maybe something else. Let's have one of these move up there. Great. So I guess we're not using any Air Force for a little while, guys. <laughs> yeah. Put uh, these onto fire. These do have armor, so they're going to be pretty hard to hit, actually. That's a pack 38. Uh, probably want to hit that. I noticed another one over here somewhere. Right, we should be able to kill that Panzer IV. See, maybe with each tick I could bring in three mortars. Obviously not this tick, but let's just bring in more of the ISs for now. Let's bring in a panther, actually. I really want to see what these panthers look like, if they're like any different to normal. I reckon it would just be like the Polish ones. The Polish captured tanks. <coughs> let's have a look. Oh, wow. No, they look completely different. Look at that camo. Oh, that's so cool. It looks like... um. Like the Nico Lucy like one, except from it's just like really dark green. That's so cool. That's such an awesome panther. Got the Zimrit coating on it as well. Wow, very cool indeed. Right, let's get some Superdi. I don't know which place would be best to attack. Um, maybe the left. It's actually pretty difficult to decide because. It's also open. It's like really difficult to push. I'm gonna bring in a couple more tanks here. Let's do that for now. Um, I'm probably gonna put my mortars on to counter battery since they do have their own artillery. I have no idea what's there. It's, it's in this tree line. Oh, we are gonna have to be careful not to be shot from the right hand side. That one's tracked broken on the left, so. Have to kill that off. I mean, maybe I could have these floating about. So I'm, I'm, I swear I'm just blind. And we got so much recon at the start, and I'm still not seeing stuff. My recons are terrible these days. Bring out a couple super early there. Currently we're going to lose in what, 7 minutes? So we need to make ground. Bring in some Spurdy on the right to push that objective. I'll bring in some in front of these and some there. And hopefully the ISs can cover us. Because they do have like a decent amount of HE, like damage that is. Ah, there it is. Okay, we found it. Good show. Just don't side my IS 1944. Thank you. Uh, let's push around and kill off these 251.17s. That's making it so difficult for us to push right now. How many more of these do we have? We've got two more. Let's bring in those two on the left and then some Superdi to push there. Right, these can unload and the Superdi can all push up and the ISs can cover them. 
Alright, these can unload. And get into these trees. We're going to need uh, some more Sapelli to go for this point. I'm also going to need supply trucks. Yeah, especially here, we've got two transmission damaged IS-2s. And this one's almost out of AP shells. It is out of AP shells. I was thinking about bringing in more mortars, but... I don't think I need to just yet. I'll spread these out. Might have to bring in some units just to clean that out. A tank, not a tank, a um, AT gun there. Bring in maybe some of these. E3476s, they'll be quite good at engaging a lot of this stuff. This is kind of coming in an awkward place. <laughs> Alright, let's push that on. We have to make sure our sight lines are covered as we continue. Cool. We're going to have to get a move on. That's the other thing, because <laughs> as you can see, the time is relatively close. We can take these uh, units in the center quite fast. These places in the center quite fast. Oh, that PO2 is probably dead. Ah, that sucks. If we bring out the Rezvitka there and the Zapali to the edge, I think that might be fine. We do of course have these tanks and stuff. We can also use the uh, the tankos to like push up aggressively on positions. That PO is going to leave, hopefully in time. Something behind us. No idea what it is. Let's get on to this hill. There must be something on the corner of here, maybe. Maybe it's another MG. We lost a Sapelli. Oh, that's not good. A couple tankos to go in there. We did actually capture this place on the right. That's good. Uh, these are probably didn't even make up the whole way up. Okay. Well, we got seven minutes to go. That's uh, Panzergrain. I think there was an MG there as well. I was right. Okay, cool. Alright, so those are going to head up now. Right, we're making our breakthrough. Good. No idea what was behind us there, but there we go. Looks like my tank hose died before they even unloaded. A brutal death. Oh yes, I need to clean out this area as well. There's something there. Panzer IV. Go say hello with the IS-2. Or maybe that's what... Okay, then that might be what uh, killed the Tanko, Desaniki. Ooh, what killed that? Ouch. Okay. That's rude. My T-34 died. 
Did that really just die to the Panzer IV? I feel like it did. Oh no, don't be in line of sight of the Gepard. That's bad. Alright, saved. <laughs> uh, let's come across now. From here. We can keep making ground, honestly, I reckon. Especially if I get a tank into the like, line of sight of that road. I'm not sure what's there. When we push the IS-2 through here, we have both of these unload. Tanko, Desa, and Niki can go like so. We'll get those to go that way. Oh, hello, Panzer IV. Well, Panther takes care of that. <laughs> nice. And a Panzer III there. Alright. Well, if we got that covered now... Uh, I should be able to push up with the T-34 and get the Sapelli to move up there as well. Keep pushing up to this point, move across the open, get up onto the hill. All that good stuff. Uh, we are pretty close to capturing this objective. Slow and steady, guys. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, that's something we can't kill. Oh, no, it spotted us as well. I'm sorry, Zapati. Okay, they're okay. They're okay. It's fine. <laughs> Zapati on the right died though. Um, let's see. We need to bring in some more Zapati. And we need to get away from that Panzerfaust. I'm losing stuff on the left. Okay, that's fine. What is this? Two Gepards. Great. Right, if that kills us with HE, I'm going to be mad. Well, my tanko certainly died very quickly. Right, controlling this side of the hill is not too much too important. It's the left side we want. I'm also going to want to try and get up onto this hill to capture this point. We're also very close to capturing these two points, so we'll move up on those. Okay. I'm actually going to move this unit across. This unit can keep moving up. Get the Zapati to move through here and clean that out. And we're going to have those provide supply there. Oh, another Zapati dead. Sucks. Right, it's technically equal at the moment. Get them back in the half track so they don't get killed by the 20 mils. Well, that's transmission destroyed? What, what did that? Do I not have like any recon on the edge? Let's drive off the right hand side here. See if we can sort things out. Let's go clean out these trees and come across. These guys have pretty much run out of ammunition, so let's bring up some supply for the IS-2s. I don't think I lost the unit of infantry there, but we did obviously lose both of the trucks. The infantry actually survived. Okay, that's one down. Yeah, slow and steady. It's working. We're going to win in six minutes. Breaking them down. Let's get my IS-2 through here, if that's got nothing in it. I suppose have used up all of their HE, actually. All of the TNT they carry. Is it the Katyusha show? I think it is. I'm not sure where we want to put the Katyusha show. I might put it on the on the left.
or blast these positions and take these flags. It looks like this town is relatively undefended. This cool ass panther got us covered. Very cool indeed. Well, there's actually two units of infantry there. Okay. Three units. <laughs> Well, it's gonna suck to be them. <laughs> but you know what? I got nothing else to <laughs> better use my Katyushas for. <laughs> we can get them engaging one of our units. I can just get a few Katyushas to hit them. Uh, not all of them. <laughs> not all of them. <laughs> as fun as that would be. <laughs> We can have four of them. <laughs> Are they really, like, running away? <laughs> yeah, my IS2 go say hello. Oh well. At least it looks cool. <laughs> and there you go. And if that Panzergrim was there before, I'm not sure it is anymore. <laughs> oh dear. And you know what? Well, these guys could could probably use some cartouches as well. Do that. <laughs> we surrounded those. Incredible. Alright, let's push for the... Uh, major victory. Since uh, it's almost ended anyway. Oh, we lost an IS-2. Shit. That actually happened. <laughs> I got dunked. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't watch that. <laughs> Crazy. Not sure we're actually going to get this done, honestly. Maybe we are. I don't know. Off to tell. Because we can probably push onto this pretty hard. Especially with the units revealing themselves shooting at my Sapelli. So. It's all well and good. We could probably just send the T-34 up to that point. Oh, that might, might have been what happened, actually. But like a Panzergren. Killed our unit. Oh, never mind, there's something all the way back there that's shooting quite quickly. I, must, I mean, it must be multiple Panzers. Panzer fours, I guess. Right, I just smoked off the right hand side so that we can dictate that engagement. This poor T 34 is very dead. Well, might not, might not be, might survive. <laughs> that, that tank is dead though. <laughs> Alright, 20 seconds remaining. And we go get one last point, because I think that would be a total victory. Which would be a quite ni nice way to end the campaign. No, I guess if we move across here, the unit that were in that tree line would have unfortunately side shot our IS-2. But in terms of stats, 155 kills to 41 losses. Those IS-2s went crazy. Damn, that's a lot of units.
A lot of dead units for those IS-2s. Otherwise, we lost quite a lot of Zipperdi. We lost one of our recon planes. Really sad about that. Uh, we did lose all of the M2A1s, of course, but that doesn't particularly matter. A lot of these don't actually count as uh, kills on the campaign map. So let's see. Have we done enough to win the campaign? Look at the, look at the damage. Oh, boy. Here goes. We didn't even use any of the IL-2s. Just realized that. That's really sad. There we go. Soviet victory. Having broken the back of the late last major German armored counteroffensive, the first Belarusian front with the Polish People's Army as its spearhead, liberates Warsaw. So the historical outcome. German victory. Oh, interesting. Overextended from the Garwolin uh, uh, from Garwolin to Radzimin, the Soviet second tank army is crushed between multiple blows from east, north, and west. Each one a battle group from the fourth, nineteenth, Hermann Göring, Viking, and Todenkov Panzer divisions. In a week of intense combat, the third tank corps is virtually annihilated, and the eighth guards tank corps badly mauled. Pushed away from Warsaw, its main armoured force gutted and too far away from its logistical bases, Marshal Rokosovsky gave up the hope of capturing the Polish capital city and pulled his troops back. In Warsaw, the home army left, abandoned to its own forces. We'll keep fighting for almost two months, vainly calling in, calling the Russians and Western allies for help. The Battle of Radzimin Praga was to be the swan's song of the Wehrmacht, its last major successful counteroffensive in the East. Now, I wasn't actually aware that this was a, a full blown German victory. Very interesting. Well, there we go. Changed history once again, just like we did with the Austria campaign previously. <laughs> I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this campaign. So, total victory, 3 to 1 victory ratio. And we obviously owned all of the strategic elements on the map. Radzimin, Minsk, Mazowiecki, um, Shidilce, and Warsaw. Uh, total units destroyed, 13,830. That's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. And uh, yeah, they only destroyed 2,916. So, in summary, we scored 50,659, and they scored 14,794. I realize that some of you guys uh, would like to have seen the kill lists more specifically. So what I'll do, you'll see it on screen now, the losses from the campaign up to that point. Either way, I thoroughly enjoyed it, I've said it many times. But thank you guys for watching the campaign. I really do appreciate it. From now on, I will be continuing with the German-sided campaigns. The next one is Berezina. Look forward to that. That's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.